Hey, welcome. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, this year I'm going to be making leg of lamb, and so I'm going to start off with all of our ingredients. So right here I have about a five pound leg of lamb, and I'm going to trim the fat in a minute. I have some of the other ingredients. I have one red onion, um, three large carrots, I have about one pound of potatoes, I have garlic and ginger, and one red chili pepper, and over here I have some fresh mint, some bay leaves, and some fresh rosemary. I'll need some water, <clears throat> uh, some vegetable oil, I'm gonna use a splash of vinegar, and I'm going to need some Greek yogurt. I'm just using the plain kind. And in terms of our spices, I have garam masala, turmeric, five spice, coriander, chili powder, and of course, as always, we're going to use some salt and pepper. And um, just to make life easy, I have a couple of mis mixing bowls with a the whisk there, and my favorite is uh, cooking in this Dutch oven over here. So let's get started. Okay, so I just spent a few minutes trimming some of the fat. You can see some of it there. I did leave a decent amount of it on. Um, you can trim all of it or leave some on like I did. And I put some slices right in um, with this nice knife here. I did some deep slices. What I'm gonna do in a minute, I'll show you, is I'm gonna put some garlic down in here uh, to add some flavor as it roasts. So I'm gonna get some of these vegetables uh, ready, um, specifically the garlic, and I'll show you that in a minute, and I'll check back in with you. Okay, so I wanna show you what I'm doing now. I'm just putting some of the garlic, the rosemary, and fresh ginger right into these slices I made. So I have all that over here, and I'm just going slice by slice. And then what I'm gonna do in a minute is I have this diluted apple cider vinegar. I'm just gonna pour it over to help tenderize the meat. Um, and once I'm done with that, I'm gonna get making um, the yogurt-based marinade. So I'll check back in a few. Okay, so I cut up the carrots, potatoes, onion, added a uh, few bay leaves into this Dutch oven, a uh, splash of oil. What I'm doing is I'm making that yogurt-based um, marinade over here. So I put most of the spices in. I'm on the last spice now, um, turmeric. So just be careful with this because it can uh, <laughs> really get your your hands stained or your clothes stained. So just uh, mixing it up now with a spoon. I have my whisk over here I'm gonna use in a minute. Um, I'll put the measurements, uh, the exact measurements in the description. So once this is complete, I'm going to um, go over here and marinate the meat. I'm going to bring it up to about a room temp, so I'll let it sit out for about an hour. Uh, alternatively, you can marinate it overnight if you have the time. I just didn't have the time this time doing it. Um, we'll add some of the salt and pepper for taste and uh, add some of that fresh mint, and then we're good to go. We'll be uh, putting it in the oven. Um, so if you want to start preheating your oven, now is a good time. It's going to be at 325 Fahrenheit. All right, I'll check back in a few minutes when I'm adding the marinade to the lamb. Okay, I just finished uh, making the marinade. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it and put it directly in the leg of lamb and let it sit for a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna use my hands, so I'm gonna get a little bit dirty. Um, you can use a spoon if that works for you, but I'm just gonna massage it in. And I'm gonna do the other side off camera, but hopefully you get the idea. You just wanna get the marinade in there good. Again, you can use your hands or a utensil. You want to get it on both sides and let it sit for a little bit. And ideally, if you can let it sit for a few hours overnight, um, it will soak in even better. Um, I'll check back in a few when I'm going to put it in the oven. Uh, the last step is just to add some fresh mint. Okay, so I just transferred the lamb over into the Dutch oven. I added some of that fresh mint on top, and I added about a cup of water into the Dutch oven. Uh, alternatively, if you have stock, you can use stock. And um, some of the excess uh, marinade I added right in with the veggies. Um, I cracked some black pepper and sprinkled some salt, and uh, in a minute I'm going to show you I'm just going to put it right over into the oven at 325, and it's going to be approximately two hours. Um, this is going to depend on the size of your meat. I go lower and slower, so um, you can go higher than 325, but that's the way I like to do it. Um, and I'm going to put the lid on the Dutch oven, so um, you could also take the lid off for part of it, but um, I recommend leaving the lid on for the majority of the time. All right, I'll check back in a minute. Okay, I'm putting the lamb in the oven. And I'll check back in about an hour and a half, and I'll take the lid off, and we'll finish up from there. All right, the leg of lamb just came out of the oven after two hours. I took the internal temp, and we were good to go. Um, you want it at least 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I actually had it quite a bit higher. Um, the last half hour, I had the lid off the Dutch oven. And you can see the vegetables in there. You get the potatoes, carrots, pepper, onion, etc. Um, and it essentially turned into like a curry sauce. It smells really, really good. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm about to do that. I'm gonna let the lamb sit for about 15, 20 minutes and I'm gonna carve it. And I'll show you the final dish in a few. Okay, this is our final product. We have the leg of lamb. I'm serving it with a piece of naan, some more of that Greek yogurt, and the vegetables, the potatoes, carrots, onion, and chili. 
Um, it came out really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, and if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Merry Christmas, everyone.